cinematic edit. Yeah. Big moment here for you. This is your big break. You were the shadow to my light. Did you feel us? Another star, you fade away. Afraid our aim is out of sight. Wanna see us? supplements so there are so many different things that you guys have the option of taking but which supplements are worth your time and which are pretty much a waste of your hard-earned money now I just want to talk about four main supplements that you could take but again supplements I just want to say this are not necessary in any shape way or form at all any supplement not necessary but there are some that you can take to enhance your performance or your results. Now, the first one that I want to talk about is BCAs or branch chain amino acids. Now, these you can take either mid-workout or post-workout in order to promote hydration and recovery. Creatine. So, you can take creatine. Uh, I personally uh, never took it. A lot of uh, benefits from you know uh, using it, as in strength gains and stuff like that. But um, yeah, you don't need it. I would say use it if you're really trying to push heavy weight because it's going to push all the water in your muscles. Not just it's going to help you. But if you're you know just trying to lose weight and like look slim for the summer, I would say stick away from that. I think that's more of a uh, performance uh, supplement, as in like maybe powerlifters or guys that are really trying to pack on that much muscle. But if you're trying to look lean, just look good, I would say you know. It's not really a necessity. Yeah, you still can take it, but again, like you said, it's not necessary. Uh, one thing to take in mind, if you do choose to take creatine, is to hydrate because stomach cramping and kidney stones and all these different side effects can happen if you're not hydrating properly when taking creatine. The next supplement that I want to talk about is protein. Now, there is whey protein and casein protein. Casein protein is more of a slower acting protein versus whey, which is more, um, I want to say, broken down, it, it is absorbed by the body a lot faster and a lot easier and is much more practical. Now, I only recommend taking whey uh, in order to reach protein goals. So if you're trying to reach a certain level of protein for the day, that's when I recommend taking protein. Uh, and how you should be taking protein, normally I don't recommend meal replacement shakes a lot, but if you're a person that's on the go, that's okay. But again, only reason you should be taking protein is to hit protein goals. The best way to hit your protein goal is through your foods. Food is number one, food is key, and food is always going to overcome supplements. Also, I want to address like, the difference between whey protein and whey protein isolate. Um, like you said, I use whey protein, just regular whey protein, to hit my protein goals since you know, we eat a lot of protein. But a lot of guys sometimes buy protein isolate because it's the more expensive brand, it's looked upon more. What isolate is is purified protein, it's really fast acting. It's usually a competitor has used it in like the last month or the last two months of show, right after their workout. I don't recommend using that as a meal replacement. You can use it the regular way for meal replacement, plus it's a lot cheaper and you don't need protein isolate. Protein isolate is just right after your workout, just use regular. And now the final supplement that I want to talk about that's most likely going to be worth your time and money is pre-workout. Now, also be weary of which brands you buy and educate yourself on which ingredients are in each workout. Examine.com is a great resource to look for supplements and nutrition advice. Uh, a lot of studies and it's very highly uh, looked upon for any supplement or nutrition questions or needs. So. Pre-workout is a, uh, a supplement that you take, like a, it's in the name, before your workout in order to increase performance. Now, I take pre-workout, it's literally the only supplement that I really take 
uh, that followed by whey protein, and then of course you have your vitamins and your fish oils and your vitamin D3, which are in ca the category of supplements. But pre-workout, literally, that's all it does. The main ingredient in there usually is going to be beta alanine or alanine or however people pronounce it. And that's like that, what gives you that tingly feeling when you take pre-workout. Uh, it's, you know, known to really increase performance whenever you take it. It, again, not necessary, but I take it because at this point for me, it's more of a routine thing. It's not... If I don't take my pre-workout, I can't work out at all. Or if I don't take my pre-workout, I'm going to have a crappy workout. Again, it's just a routine thing. Uh, I like the flavors too. There's crazy flavors out there. But again, do your research before you decide to buy any of the supplements that we just mentioned to you guys. I'll uh, just say goodbye. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so thank you guys so much for listening to us ramble about supplements. I uh, really hope that you guys can actually take this information uh, and take some value into it and implement it into your training and daily lives. And really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And we'll see you guys next week.